Hello and welcome back to Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. In the last part, we have completed the stupid ass um, uh, submarine mini games in Lost Fleet. I hate them. I hate them a lot. Now, what could possibly be better than a dragon infant, Crazy Ed? A golden dragon infant? Dolores! Oh, okay, so now we can safely traverse the Acid Lake. Well, no, this is still very, very risky. Because we only have a limited amount of time before invincibility runs out. Then we have to go through yep. the gates of life. Of invincibility. They're slightly different. The gate, the gates of life actually uh, cut, uh, cut off two years off of your current age. Whereas the gates of invincibility make you uh, make you immune to acid damage for about 30 seconds. The gates of invincibility are the front gates of any U.S. secondary institutional facility. The gates of life literally are your mother's legs. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. It is the origin of all things. Accept it. Look at it. Look at it! <laughs> no, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Patrick totally would pull up a picture of a Polaroid of your mother's legs and then tell you look at it look at it <laughs> mm, can I make it back to the invincibility in time yes that was a close one yes it was and it's the main reason why I really dis uh, dislike this area you you have you have to uh, keep in mind how far away from the invincibility you are. Yes. And if you fail to do so, you will be you will become the dead inside. So spiral. now you have to start making your way back. I think that's all the treasure in this area. Check. I think I'm checking with Sparks. Uh, nope. Sparks has pointed something out. That is what Sparks does when you in, when you input the cheat code. Cheat code? Yes, the cheat code that we got two parts ago. Uh. Or was it three parts ago? I think it was two parts so ago. So we're cheating right it now. It might have been three parts. Well, yeah, because I because I'm I'm gonna be very blunt here. Actually actually doing a one hundred percent run without without Sparks cheat code is incredibly difficult and much more frustrating than it should be. Ah. So I use I use the Sparks cheat code, mind you. It's the same cheat code that was uh, it's the same cheat code that was in Spyro Two and Spyro One, but you just have to earn it this time. I think you had to earn it in Spyro Two as well. You have actually. to earn the cheat code. In Spyro One, you did not have to earn the cheat code. Well, cheat cheat codes by nature should not have any prerequisites except for the except for the activation sequence. Mm, well. Well, in Spyro 3, the cheat code has an act, uh, uh, has a prerequisite. You have to clear a Sparks' second level. It's just... In, in ga game, games where you have to unlock cheat codes by, like, completing objectives in the game, it just doesn't feel quite the same as, as the good old days where you had to press sequence before you hit the start button on the, on the opening menu, which nobody or their mother would have figured out for the lives of them. Unless, of course, they actually went out and, uh, and either spent real world mo money or had friends that spent spent real world money. On a game shark. No, no, no. Game sharks do not count as cheat codes. Really? I, no, I don't, because you have to input the game shark codes outside of the game in order in, in order for them to function at all. And a lot of and a lot of them is just uh, literally rewriting code. But how is that not a cheat code? <laughs> Oh, it's a cheat code, most certainly, but I don't qualify it as a game cheat code. I qualify it as an out-of-game cheat code. In order for the cheat code to function, you have to reprogram the game. Yes. It's more of a hack tool than it is a cheat code. I actually did not know that about Game Shark. I thought that the Game Shark just knew the game better than it knew itself. <laughs> no. 
the game shark is literally inserting different code in uh, when it uh, when it functions. It's why uh, manipulating the ver uh, specific values in the Pokemon games using Game Shark are are these incredibly long line lists, uh, long uh, lists of codes. My point still stands that it feels more special. It feels more like you know cheating to to use to to use methods outside of the rules of normal conduct in order to in order to make your way. The game games that let you unlock cheat codes by completing milestones or or certain objectives don't feel like real cheat codes. They just feel they they just feel like um, they feel like intended. They tools. feel like intended tools, precisely. Which doesn't it doesn't it doesn't ring the same way as a as a as an honest to goodness cheat code. Which is I am the player who knows this game better than ordinary players would. I'm going to use this knowledge to exploit it. Well. In certain in certain games, specifically the games from Insomniac and Naughty Dog, a lot of the a lot of the times the, the cheat codes that the cheat codes that you would use if there was multiplayer functionality affected all players. For example, in Crash Team Racing, if you enter in the cheat code to have because there is actual cheat codes to have, to have all items turn into other items, that affects everyone. Yes. And of course, a majority of the other cheat codes are just unlocking the secret racers. But getting back on topic, welcome to Lost Fleet Skate Park. Oh wow, it's Hunter Hawk. They said what? Fire slugs are not fast, regardless of what you say. Thank you, Hunter. You totally stuck it to them. Thank you, Hunter. The first race again. The first race in, in this park against the Rhinox is actually super simple. All you really have to do is, uh, is manage uh, is manage your tricks and boosts in order and in order to uh, um, complete lap three in first place. And you can easily get to first place if you manage to if you manage to chain tricks together. However, that's not the actual problem with this area. The problem with this area is the fact that there's a boatload of treasure here. And collecting all the treasure is a fucking nuisance. Because you can only get the treasure while you're on the skate, while you're on the skateboard. Well, you can only traverse the track while you're on the skateboard. All right, you fell off the track, so it restarted you where you left off. Do you get? It is still a race, and it functions much like a racing game. But you'll notice that we're only starting lap two, and I'm already in first place. Well, of course, this is the this is the introductory race, but not the actual race. No, this is the actual race against the Rhinox. So what? You don't you don't race them a second time? You do not race the Rhinox a second time. That is dumb. Cause this 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 is too easy. But look at this. You're you you already you basically already won. You just can't die, repeatedly. Yeah, and and, it's, and even if I do if I and even if I do crash into the walls, I'm still I'm still a good 10, 15 seconds ahead. Yeah. So it doesn't actually uh, hinder me that much. Damn. Damn, you filled your bar halfway with that triple. Yeah. Triples are what uh, triples are what you want to do if you want to gain a substantial amount of boost really quickly. Also, every time that you have boost on on, on that particular jump, take uh take that take the blue star shortcut there. Yeah. Uh, it'll cut down your lap time significantly. Oh yes. But you shouldn't need any help on this race, right? And then we get hit with the fucking hammer. Like a bunch of dizzy one -toed sand norks. Oh yeah. I guess we won this egg too. Mm, Oliver. Now that the rhino is gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course. And still beat me in a race. Fuck you, Hunter. Wait, but we only have one superboard. 
No, he has a spare super board. Uh. That's not the problem here. The problem here is that there are 10 crabs on the course and you have to kill them all. Even if you win the race, if you miss if you miss any of the crabs like I did there, well, you lose the race. Well, well, I mean, you have two more chances to get the crabs that you miss on the first lap. Yes. However, you'll notice that these crabs are a lot are a lot less um, uh, gettable than uh, than it looks. Because once again, it's not actually defeating Hunter that's the problem. Hunter is not really that fast here, but you have to go through that. You have to go through that area because the crabs hidden in in there for one. For two, a lot of the crabs are in less than opportune areas for you to actually generate boost. And if you and you only really have three chances at each crab because you still have to actually take first place. Yes. So I think lap one, you get all the nine crabs that are not in the shortcut. Lap two, you get the shortcut crab, and then you spend the rest of the time either catching up or staying ahead of Hunter. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just letting Hunter kill most of the crabs. Hunter can kill the crabs too? Yes, Hunter can in fact kill the crabs and for that, you. It's actually pretty and awesome. And it counts? It counts. Because the, the only thing the game tracks is... I don't know what, what the, the fuck, fuck happened. There. I think I landed on Hunter. How are you still in But first? the only thing that the game actually counts is if the crabs are no longer on the field. However, now I have to actually now I have to actually go and take down the crab that's in the shortcut and still take first. Apparently, the game is really glitchy in this part because Hunter is clearly ahead of me and yet it still reads me as in first place. I think you lapped him. I didn't lap him. No way in oh. hell. Then the game, yep, and you blew it. Do it over. We did get all the crabs. So, are you ready to take my challenge? Yes, Hunter, we're set. Yes, Hunter, you're an asshole. And this is why I don't like coming back to play Lost Fleet, honestly. Uh, I'll admit that I don't actually go back to a majority of the levels when it when it comes to Spyro 3. I enjoy the game, but I mostly enjoy the game on a on a one uh, on a one run at a time basis. Like I'll go through and do a 100% run like once a year, maybe twice a year. What? But <laughs> Lost Fleet is never is never a level that I actually look all that much all that forward to. I, I had to laugh because Hunter totally just wiped out on the course. Yay! Got the one up. <sighs> there are. Doesn't look like Sparks actually collected the one up, but I knocked it out. So there. every game has a most regrettable sequence. One that we reluctantly. This approach. is not it. Oh no! This is not even close to it. This skateboard, however, does come back for uh, a repeat performance much later. We'll be getting to that. Kill the crab. Blow it to bits. There. We have all the crabs now. We just have to be hunter. Googly eyes everywhere. <laughs> Thankfully, Hunter does not get access to the missiles. Neither do the Rhinox. But but as the protagonist, we get access to missiles. Oh, watch out for the acid. I think we actually do win it this time, but you'll notice that we didn't get all the treasure on the course. So you would have to repeat the challenge until you got all the treasure. No, we don't repeat the challenge, but we, uh, but we do. But from here on, we have time trials. I can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time. I thought you were looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding. No, they were not. Why is there only ever just one egg? Why can't there be two? <laughs> oh, that comes up later too. The last egg in the game. Nice. Is that is that the egg? You have to get all the other eggs in the game first? Yes. Ah. The one time where you get two eggs at once. That is actually pretty funny. <laughs> But yeah, now now we are now we have to go through here, uh, finish to uh, finish collecting the rest of the treasure. Sparks does work, he does, uh, while you're on the skateboard. But it's a bit difficult to actually notice where he's pointing while you're on the skateboard. You know. I don't suppose you could just turn around. 
We can turn around, actually. I don't remember if we can actually go that far, but I remember that we can turn around. Yeah, because, I mean, it's one thing for a game to just block you from going backwards. It's another thing if the game will let you know that you're going backwards. Mm, I jump cut after getting the rest of the treasure, because I should have. We, we saw it. We saw it.